That's what I'm gonna do here, and welcome back to Ocarina of Time. And I go this way. Oh, I remember this. Hang on a second. Nope, that's not right. I need to go a little bit. You're great! You scored three perfect bullseyes! I have to give any present to such a wonderful person. Please take it! It's been living in my stomach for years! A bullet bag. Let's see here. Now we go. Whoa! Hey, over here! Woo hoo! Dusk! Good to see you again! Wish I could say the same. Listen to this! Hoot hoot! After going through the Lost Woods, you will come upon the Sacred Forest Meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh! What's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune too. Hoo hoo hoo! Do you want to hear what I said again? Also, could you fix my neck? If you are courageous, you will make it through the forest just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. Woohoo! Oh, if only I could see you less. Anyone else impressed? I got that on the first go. Didn't even listen for the music. Come at me! Come at me! Come at me, bitch! You can't handle it, can ya? Show him what's what. Poor Dicky Scrub. Thank you. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, that was fun. Well, here we are. I've been waiting for you, Dusk! This is the sacred forest meadow! It's my sacred place! I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday! That's what I feel! If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits of the forest! Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Sure. Okay, try to follow along with the melody I will play! Are you ready? You still have it, Ocarina, right? You're never going to throw it away! Promise me! <coughs> uh, 
Man, she's gonna be pissed after two boss fights. Great, great! Please don't forget this song. Do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, say, Play Saria's song. You can talk with me anytime. Crap, it's glittering again. What the hell's going on? You've learned Saria's song. Okay, bye. Well, we might as well go to Kakari. Well, we might as well go to the KKK village. Oh, yes, this hole. If only I had a bottle, then I could put a fairy in it. Fairies can heal and resurrect you. Which is pretty useful. Oh, Jesus. Woohoo! Did you learn the Ocarina song of Sarah? Oh my god. Yes, I knew that was going to happen. I also know everything you're thinking. That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs like this that you could learn in Hyrule. Well, I've already learned like two others. If you hold the Ocarina with C, where a melody is necessary, a musical staff will appear. I recommend that you play a song you know. I also suggest that you play even when a score is not displayed like this. Hoot. What? Now, melodies you have learned will be recorded on the quest status subscreen. You should memorize these melodies. Could you just leave me alone now? Hey, come on, man. Oh, time to leave again. Goodbye, home. He was hoping I actually won't come back this time. Just gonna fight the undead. Actually, run from them. As I head off to Kakariko Village. <laughs> hey, I just saw the gate go down. Now there's yet another song to learn here. I'm gonna have to go to a place that used to terrify the shit out of me as a child. What are you looking at? Ding dong ding dong. I'm a clock soldier of Kakariko. The current time is 9.05. Hello there son. Zelda's attendant. The great Impa opened this village to the common people. We have only a small population now, but someday this place will be as lively as Hyrule Castle Town. Oh yes it will. Come up the stairs at the north end of the village and find a trail that leads up to Death Mountain. But you need the king's permission to actually go up the mountain. I should have mentioned that last part first. I am the boss of the carpenters that Impa hired to improve this village and make it all into a true city. 
But young men these days don't have any ambition. Do you know what I mean, kid? My workers are just running aimlessly around the village, and they're not making any progress at all. Even my own son doesn't have a job, and he just wanders around all day. They're all worthless, I tell you! Well, I'm sure we'll never meet again. They're all worthless, I tell you! Yeah, well, I'm trying to hit a friggin' tree with my head. So shut up! Nope, nothing. Ah, you really are running aimlessly. All day long, we are working on many construction projects in the village. It's going to take a while before everything is done. Our boss works is very hard. Yeah, I imagine. What should I do? My cuckoos are all flown away! What, they flew the coop? You little boy, please help me bring them back to this pen! Yeah, no, I hope I get something out of it. I just realized I don't know how many chickens she has. Oh, there's one there. But hold on a second. I know this place. This is the cursed spider room. Whoa! I'm cursed! So you are. We all look like this because of the spider's curse. If every spider of the curse in the entire world were destroyed, the curse would be broken. When you destroy a spider of the curse, our token will appear, collected as proof of your achievement. The number next to this icon, the quest will so screen, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> if you touch him again, he'll hit you. I used to enjoy doing that as a sadistic little bastard. Well, let's see here. Did you go go leave? Nope, still there. Good. I don't know how many kugos there are, but let's do this. Ah, stupid inverted controls. I gotta fix that. What happened? Oh wait, can it go through the fence? Don't matter now, he just left. Gotcha! gate over there. Or a fence. Ow. But how do I get through there? Can this actually go through the things? Looks like it can. I can't see him. Well, that didn't do it. Pretty sure. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I think I need a Kuko to fly over there. Would you hold still? There. Just throw them out. There we go. Is that all of them? My cuckoos have run away! Please help me free! What? Well, how many is there left? There was a dulling. Is that really? Ugh. How many of you bastards are there? I think I heard one. Wait a minute. Nope. Could one of them actually be in a jar though? Come on! There you go. Ah! Get back here! I just fuck. Sorry, random people. I didn't mean to come in here. I'm just getting a friggin' chicken. With a useless head that doesn't work. Get back here! Let this be the last one. Possibly be. No, don't climb it, hit it. With your face. Oh wait, maybe it's one of these jars. Nope. Look lady, I'm sorry, I can't find your other chickens. You're on your own. Just checking. I wonder how I'd get a chicken out of the well. What would happen if I threw a chicken in there? Wait a minute. Alright. I guess they wouldn't use the same trick twice, would they?
Well then. Ah, the graveyard. R.I.P. Here lie the souls of those who swore fealty to the royal family of Hyrule. The Sheikah, guardians of the royal family and founders of the <laughs> of the three cage village, watch over these spirits in their eternal slumber. Eh, that's nice. The kids can't go on the heart pound and grave digging door described in the sign. Since I can't do that, I'm just in imitating Dan be the gravekeeper all day. But with my cute face, I'm not hot pounding at all, am I? No, not really. The Royal Valley's Tomb. Royal Composer. Oh, shoot. Oh, the graveyard? If you stare at it with... Why is it question marked? Impa said that the spiritual stood a fire somewhere on Death Mountain. Gah! You killed me! Unbelievable! Oh, what? You're not the one of Ganondorf's men, are you? Because of my role as a ghost, I had to act like that. I apologize. Now then, let me introduce myself. Him! I am one of the ghostly composer brothers of Gekariko Village. All the people in this village are born to serve the royal family of Hyrule. Yep, as soon as we're shot out as babies, we start working for them. We brothers also serve the royal family, and we're assigned to study the hereditary mystic powers of the family. Though we never could figure out the power of the Triforce, we had almost completed our study of the controlling time with the tones of ocarinas. Uh, I mean, actually, we did complete that study. We would have been famous if the hateful Gendor had not tried to steal our results. We could never let him reap the fruits of our research. That's why we gave our lives to protect the secret. Do you want to hear all the- no. So he's the sharp, is he the flat? Yep, I knew it. We're crying out loud. Can we hurry this up, please? There we go. I'm dead again! What? You again? Somehow you remind me of Princess Zelda. Maybe it's because you're wearing a tunic. Hmm. Since you may have some connection with the royal family, I will tell you a little more of our tale. Back then, people called us great composers because of the many musical masterpieces we wrote. But we brothers were not just composers. 
We had a mission to analyze the mysterious powers of Hyrule's royal family. Our names would be a part of Hyrule's history if we could complete our research. We kept our study extremely secret until we completed it. To tell you the truth, each of us was studying a different song. One to summon the sun, and the other to summon the moon. If you were really sent by a member of the royal family, I would tell you about the results of our study. We inscribed it on the royal tombstone. As a messenger of the royal family, you should show your royal credentials on top of the tribal's mark. Do you want no? <laughs> Oops. Well, the lightning picked up. Not a very friendly welcome, if you ask me. So, this place used to terrify me as a kid. Not because of the way it looks, but because of the monsters. Not that one. Yeah, these skulls, they didn't bother me. Shine light on the living dead. Those who break into the royal tomb will be obstructed by the lurkers in the dark. Any other vaguely threatening things you want to tell us? Nope, that's all of you? Okay. I figure what happens when you light these torches. Now this is the part that scared me. It was these guys that scared me. And that's why. As a kid, I would actually run on that acid-like water. Just to avoid going near these freaks. Are they coming to me? This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. <coughs> the rising sun will eventually set and newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem. Huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. <laughs> A pretty simple song for uh, one that makes the uh, time pass by. Rest of swords wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the sun song.
Are you talking about these chumps? so tough now, are you? Huh? No, you're not tough anymore. Well, what's that? What's that? You want your mommy? Well, too bad. Damn, being scared of them after being a kid feels good to get back at them. That's sadly all the time we have now. But thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.